Hi guys. So on um, today's video, we are going to work on updating our table of contents in our composition notebooks. This is going to apply to both your reading and your language arts composition notebooks if you have me for both classes. If you don't and you only have me for language arts, then you just need to worry about the language arts composition notebook. So because we are going to be using this book so much this school year, we want to make sure that we have it organized in the best way possible. And a great way to organize a piece of writing or a book is with a table of contents. So we're going to make a table of contents. Your job before today's um, class was to number your pages. Every single page in your composition notebooks needed a number. Now, because we talked about in class that every single composition notebook had a different amount of pages, each person's table of contents may end up being a little different, and that's okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to look at the last page that you have numbered. Mine happens to go up to 200. I know some of you only went to 190 or 188, 198, doesn't matter. Whatever your last page number is, is a number that you need to keep in the back of your mind when you're making your table of contents. Now, every page that is included in this notebook is going to have a title on top. So the title on top will eventually be filled into our table of contents, which is probably going to take up the first five, six, seven, eight pages of our composition notebook, just because we'll have so many pages. So because each page needs a title at the top, you are going to label this title table of contents. Okay, now that you have that labeled, you may begin writing in your page numbers. So I'm going to dedicate one line for each page number. You may choose however you want to do it, however you want to set it up. If you want to write all of your page numbers on the same side or just on one side, or if you flip flop it as you go through the pages, that is totally up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on this first page my page numbers on this right column. You see how there's kind of that faint line that's on the back of the page? I'm going to follow that and keep that side as my page numbers, okay? So I knew that I had 200 pages in my composition notebook. I'm going to label each line with a page. So I'm going to kind of renumber all of my pages. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to keep counting all the way down. You guys are going to be watching me to make sure I count correctly. Okay, so I'm going to stop on this line here. I'm not going to put one at the bottom because my page number is taking up that bottom. And to me, that would get a little confusing to have my page number and then the table of contents page number on the same line. And that's okay. So what I'm going to have you guys do is just stop on this line above your page number. If you are one of those people that writes kind of big and you wrote your page numbers taking up two lines, that's okay. What I would do is if your page number at the very bottom takes up a bigger chunk or two lines, stop at the line above. Okay? The number you leave off on this page is the number you're going to pick back up on the one after that number on the next page. So now you can choose if you want to continue on the same side of the page. I think I'm going to write on this side of the page when I'm going on to this next page here. So again, we need to write in our title. And because I left off on 29 on the first page, my next page is going to be 30 up here. And I'm going to continue counting all the way down until I get to the bottom of the page again. Okay, so then I leave off on 58 here. That means on the next page, I would start with 60 and continue all the way down. Now you're going to continue these table of contents pages until you get to your last page, which mine is 200. So that means I have to count from 59 to all the way at the bottom and see how at the bottom of this page, my page number kind of takes up two lines. 
I'm probably going to stop on this line right above it here so that I'm not confusing myself when I'm looking at my table of contents. Okay, so if I am finishing up my table of contents, I'm kind of guessing just by doing quick mental math here that I'm going to fill. Oops, sorry, Dak and the camera got unplugged. That I'm going to fill page four, five, six, seven, and maybe even on to page eight. Okay, each page is going to have your table of contents title up on top. And some of you, just because you have less pages, you may end up on page six or page seven at the end of your table of contents. It doesn't matter. Okay, each book is individual to you, so you need to make sure that you are following along and keeping track of that last page number in your book. Okay, you may continue on. Good luck and make sure you count correctly.